out of Caroline Joan. We are underway in the fiercest noise as Sarah Hidney brings down the ball straight away. ZI and the LDI just a half a metre short. Here comes the blue wave once more. Bourdon for Menage once more, driving down, and Roman Menage scores for France. The opening try in the semi final goes to the French number eight. A leader in her own right, she offers big, real punch to this French team when she charges at the line like that. With tough going. French defence. Play on for New Zealand that's come off a French hand in there somewhere. Just a knock on advantage. Yeah, knock on advantage. Nine. In his 67th test, Ninja Popkins will feed the scrum five metres out. In fact, they'll get the free kick and away they go. And off they go to the left. And that big wide ball for Flula. Flula in the corner. The smiling assassin strikes. Well, we've been waiting for it this whole half. And you can see here, Kendra plays it out fast, and it's a long ball from Noah Hay. Stacey coming on the speed. They're in. Experience at that level. Kendra Cox said that's what she brings. But look at this money ball right to left, right on the chest of Stacey Flula. And the pressure turns into points for the Black Ferns. They felt it, didn't they? The Black Ferns felt it. This crowd felt it. Stacey celebrated it. Just short of the line. Stay, stay. Bourdon again. They're lining up the French runners. Here's Menage once more. This time they stop it. Bourdon for Vignier. They won't stop Gabriel Vignier. That close to the line, though. And France strike back. Perfectly hit Holt. While oh, the French continue this is hard, girls. to build pressure. This time New Zealand will clear away from that breakdown ball. Out the back for Demad Combs into the line. The Kiwi fullback again goes hard into the ground for Tui and Flula to chase. Tui bearing down on Brulard. Oh, there's a juggle, and Tui's in for New Zealand! She stayed in the fight, they're going to check, but looks as if Ruby Tui may have scored. On this occasion, finally they go back door to create some space. Takes it to the line, puts it to the right foot, and now it's just a straight out sprint. Ruby Tui, oh man, oh man, puts it on the toe. Get that down. Well, Ruby never gives up on anything, does she? And it's a great match up here. She takes on Bula. Oh. No one shared harder than the detonator on the bench, Aisha Leti Ayenga. They're absolutely loving it. Stop. stop once, and now Connor's peeled away. Luca Connor. It comes back for Cox. He draw Roos with the juggle. Four metres short, three metres short, two metres short. New Zealand funnel it back. Fitzpatrick on the angle. Fitzpatrick crashes over. And Teresa Fitzpatrick's put New Zealand in front for the first time. Ball out here. Roos takes it in. And then it's the angled run from Teresa Fitzpatrick. Great ball comes out here. Quick hands there. She's in. And Connor reads that well. But here come France. It's their turn to respond. Suffy in the eye. And in 90th test in the eye. One of the all-time greats gets their team going forward. Bourdon. And now Menage. Menage is over. And Menage has bullocked her way to another try. An extraordinary score from France's number eight. Plays 24. Oh, she's just such an elite player. Romain Menage. The determination to get over for her double in the semi-final. She's top shot. Juan closes the gap to one. What a 15 minutes. Remember, it's nice ball off the top to work with. And Talmata, what oh, heavy collision. That's young and old veteran and old dog, or veteran and youngster going together. Talmata and NDI, great hands. Simon and again from Lexi Ayinra. Powers through one and then. A lot of the force is through here, but then there's head. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it to Sarah Cox here because she's the one that came in and said, nah. It's head contact, have another look at it to join Evan and TMO. So that's well done by the assistant referee. 
space here for France if they can work it for Menoche. And now Grise Flula makes the tackle on her. France now in the heart of New Zealand's territory. Bourdon for Socha. Oh, what a shot from Talmata. Still there for France, though. Great heads up. I think they might have to stop it here. Is she all right? Uh, will you get the mark? Sintel Tolmata is the player who's Same made the, the tackle. One. Said head contact. She was on okay. the receiving end of the other, accepts her medicine. No, no. But this is going to be a penalty for France in a very kickable position with a minute to play and a point mark. in it. Caroline Gerard, she's pushed it wide. And now with just seconds remaining, Kennedy Simon, she needs some support from her teammates. Blackbird's bodies pile in, they've got 10 seconds to wait for a hoot of France's desperation to get hands on ball. Look at the piling in now. There it goes. Coxage checks the time with the referee. Hennedy says get rid of it. And New Zealand are going to the World Cup final.